Hey guys, it's me Eliza, and doing a voiceover for once. Um, this is how my hair is looking. I tried to show you like the pointy thing on top. Oh my god, what is that? Back is really bad, I know, and I had um oh my these god. split ends. So I just had my mom just give me a little trim, not anything serious, because I'm going to be bleaching my hair anyway. And I did want to just retain some length. But yeah. So here you see me with the gloves and then this barber shop cape that just made me very, very hot in summer. It wasn't very smart. I have my developer, 30 volume. So I'm just pouring that. I can mix it. And there's the bleach. The little scoop. And I remember how bad bleach smells, and then there I go, mixing with my two fingers. And then to apply it. Yeah, this part was kind of awkward because I decided, oh, let me let my mom record it. Because, like, then you'll be able to see more. And then it just turned out that the lighting was really bad because this is the side of my body that's in the shadow. So I tried to adjust it a little bit so it's easier to tell. I mean, it's really not that deep. I'm putting bleach on the tips because... I wanted that to be the lightest part of my hair, which kind of ended up happening, but not really. Anyway, I put it inside of that shower cap with a little clip so it could develop, and then you could see it just turned. It didn't turn super bright, but I just wanted it to be a little bit lighter than the rest, and then I'm shampooing here. Because you gotta shampoo bleach out all the time. Mm, yeah, I was really happy with how it came out looks really funny with just that and then here's here's where I messed up that's the uh, the 40 volume so I kind of figured okay so a lot of people dye their hair with just developer and just hair dye so like let me try to do that it's usually it's a box dye and the um the elements are much thicker like here this stuff was just developer and then the semi-permanent color you can see here it's just extremely runny but like i decided oh well the color is good so let's just go ahead and go through with it so when i put that on it burned my hands a lot i've never had my hands burn so much like with 30 volume no, it wasn't that no, it's on my i'm gonna leave this in i'm just with the audio <laughs> so here i messed up again like you know typically what i will do like in any situation is i would just bleach my damn hair and then i'll dye it but like number one i thought like maybe this would be like a fast it, it's kind of like a hack because it's like i'm mixing the bleach with the hair dye the first hack was like oh i'm gonna mix the developer with the hair dye now i was like let me mix the bleach with the hair dye and like typically i would just bleach my hair and then dye it but i figured like i really wanted my hair to be dark that was like my main thing i was like i really want it to be like a dark kind of subtle shade of purple which i did end up achieving anyway but like you know i i just figured like oh let me let me mix it in and then it won't get because i didn't really want to lighten it that was my whole thing like i light in the ends because i figured okay those parts would be like the only parts that would be like actual bleached hair and then the rest of it will just be you know the rest of it will just be kind of on the dark side but it, it just it just really didn't work out i like again i've seen people do this successfully I'm not really sure what I did wrong. There was me being like hella confident. I'm not happy about this. You, you, hey, you're ecstatic. Wait, you still have so bleach on your damn head, but uh, yeah. yeah, so just really soak that in because I feel like this is the only time I'm ever gonna have damn ginger hair. So then I did the smart thing at this point and I'm like, I'm just gonna put the purple on top. The irony as well is that I wanted the ends to be the lightest part of my head and then they ended up being really dark but I guess around here it kind of evened out a little bit because the top of my head is a lot darker and the bottom has more purple so that's good. And then I'm finished so here's the results. So yeah, this is what I wanted, but I do just want to go back to brighter hair. I think it just suits me better, but this is honestly cute. It's just not really for me. 
anyway yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you did and make sure to give me a like subscribe and follow me for more content where i'm just gonna dye my hair in the normal way from now on all right well see you guys in my next video